good morning and a very warm welcome to each and every one of us and at the same time class before going ahead with our gk class today i would request each and every one to again i'm repeating the same things again and again and i i will be repeating the same things the next week as well because till now the covid has not gone completely the numbers are still a very large though the recovery rate has been increased to 64% that is quite a good news for us but still now and then we are coming across with some or the other cases of covid 19 so before going ahead with this let us start our gk class today the very first thing that is again i am going to tell you that is since this is the subject which is beyond boundaries means what that is this subject that does not has any particular syllabus any particular topic so we don't know from where the questions can be asked from here so it is my humble request to go through this gk part every day whether you are going it for 10 minutes or 15 minutes that does not matter but please go for it so that not only at your school level but after that also when you are going to appear for for any kind of competitions or anything like that you are not going to face problem because as your maths and science would be strong enough but this ga portion is going to pull you back so in order to be on a safer side i would request each and every one of you to take utmost care and at the same time keep on revising all these topics so let us start with our today's discussions one more thing i would like to tell you that is since we have not done the page numbers in a serial sequence that is we directly started our half yearly syllabus as it was done by your previous teachers but first i am going to complete you with the periodic syllabus that is your pt1 and thereafter we will be going ahead with the half yearly syllabus so let us have a look over it okay okay so this is the first page number that is your page number 10 which we are going to discuss today here it is we are going to discuss about the different forms of dance which are not only from india but they are from all over the world like if you can see the very first one the person with a umbrella like structure who is doing some of the steps of this dance form is the famous dance form which is known as kabuki the second one if you can see this is the couple dance you can say in which the male person is in <coughs> contrary to the female part and performing the steps which are necessary or which used to be performed in this dance form so this dance form is known as your salsa moving ahead with the third one if you can see this is known as your hip hop which you might be aware of this thing as we generally like these kinds of dance forms and we very often are amazed by it as well as we love to watch all these dance forms basically on the shows if you remember we have the dance india dance show in which generally we come across not all of them but still we are going to see salsa or hip hop or some other dance forms the fourth one if you can see here we have here the dance form which is known as your tango okay tango is also as is 
it can be seen from the picture itself this is also a dance form which is requiring at least two persons moving ahead with the next dance form that is known as your flamenco and this is the dance form which is basically belonging to spain all right so if you can see here in this flamenco dance form it is the folkloric music traditions of southern spain in the autonomous community of murcia okay that this term that is the flamenco term is used to refer to a variety of spanish musical styles okay this is one of them moving ahead to number 6 which is known as your ballet dance form so this ballet dance form is also one of them just like we discussed about kabuki salsa and everyone so here ballet is also a strict form of art and the dancer must be athletic and flexible enough okay basically these if you would have seen athletics uh the <clears throat> kind of sport form which is generally done on the a kind of beam a wooden beam is there and the athlete used to jump over it twice thrice or as the posture or the style depends so this ballet dance it exclusively began as a court dance but over centuries it has migrated out of the court and it has become very popular now moving ahead with the next one we have the waltz dance form which is basically again similar to the above one but this is basically a ballroom and a folk dance folk dance normally in triple time performed primarily in closed positions all right moving ahead with some more if you can see here yanko dance form which is somewhat representing like the parade but it is not actually so this yanko dance form it is also known as twisting yanko dance and it is a traditional chinese folk dance okay moving ahead with the last one that is known as your apsara dance form this apsara dance form it is played by a woman into a traditional dress whose graceful gestures are codified to narrate classical myths or religious stories all right so this was all for the dance forms if we move ahead to the fact file which is given here so here is we are having haka which is a dance of the maori tribe from new zealand and is often associated with the battle preparations of the male warriors that is this was generally done when the warriors were going for a war so they used to prepare themselves and they used to represent in a form which was known as your haka dance form all right so now if we move ahead with our page number 16 that is the crime fiction okay as the name suggests crime all of us we know crime refers to the incidents which are happening all over the world now and days which we come across in our newspapers as well okay so fiction basically means the stories or the novels or anything else which describes events and people that are not real 
okay that is people that are not real means what in place of them some other characters are being playing the role of that real person all right so if we see this thing so here it is a table which has given to us and this is representing the famous works and some of their authors and at the same time the main character characters which are being played in this starting with the first one if you can see the very first work is known as the hound of the baskervilles that is it is the name of the crime fiction story the author of this was author conan doyle and the main characteristic or the main character played in this fiction story was sherlock holmes moving ahead to the second one that is the murder on the orient express so here the author of this crime fiction was agatha christie and the main character in this was hercule poirot okay moving ahead to the third one that is from russia with love so here the author was ian fleming and the main character here was james bond who is very famous character in most of our novels or stories next is the feluda series which you can see here that is your number 4 the author is missing and the main character is pradosh c mitter okay so here in this case the author is satyajit ray who is who has written or written this basically science fiction that is feluda series next is your satyan veshi whose author is shardindu bandyopadhyay here the main character is byomkesh bakshi if you remember i hope with this byomkesh bakshi we have a movie as well okay moving ahead to question number 6 number 6 that is the lost symbol this is also quite a famous crime fiction whose author is dan brown and the main character is robert langdon moving ahead with the seventh part the innocence of the father brown here the author was g k chesterton and the main character was played by father brown okay now if you can see in the think box it has been given to us like imagine yourself as a mystery novel writer and give a character sketch of the detective or protagonist in your book the detective all of you know but when we move ahead to the protagonist then what is the meaning of this one so in pro the meaning of protagonist is the main character in a play film or book that is you will be representing yourself as a main character in this part moving ahead to page number 23 we have here the characters we love okay so read the clues to identify some famous characters from books pick your answers from the help box which has been given at the bottom so the starting from the very first one the a character from the novel great expectations by charles dickens he is an orphan who travels to london and becomes a gentle man so here the famous <coughs> character is your pip that is your p i p starting with second one created by sir arthur conan doyle just now if you would have re uh, remembered 
we have discussed here in this case the main character or the famous character was Sherlock Holmes moving ahead to the third one that is the second of the four sisters in the novel Little Woman by Lucia May Alcott she is impulsive moody and loves reading and writing so she is no other than your Joe March moving ahead to number four a young journalist who goes on adventures around the world with his doggy Snowy and Captain Archibald Haddock. So here we have Tin Tin as the main character. Number 5 we have she is an amateur teen detective who lives in River Heights and solves mysteries with her friends. Bess Marvin and George Fain. So here the character is Nancy Drew. Moving ahead to number six, a recurring character in the short stories and novels by P.G. Woodhouse. He is the valet of Bertie Wooster and solves all his problems in life. So here the main character is Reginald Jeeves, which here this one. Okay, the last one, one of the most famous and long-lived characters, this Belgian detective created by Agatha Christie is extremely punctual and always carries a pocket watch. So here is again the famous character which we discussed just now that is your Hercule Poirot. Okay, if we move ahead to the fact file here. So many characters in the famous literary pieces are inspired by real people. The infamous Professor Snape's character from the Harry Potter series was inspired by J.K. Rowling, his school teacher John Nettleship. So basically the concept here is that is we are dealing or going ahead with all these stories and basically they are being made from some real stories which are happening all around the world moving ahead with the next that is your page number 11 so here we have the unique sports which we are going to discuss now the very first one if you can see this is known as your formula one f1 we generally pronounce it in the short form because this is a very famous car racing which is generally runs on a track with a speed much higher than our normal speeds which we think of okay this track if you remember it is made in Noida as well where we can have a ride over these F1 racing cars by paying requisite amount of monies okay if we move ahead the second figure so this is showing us the wind surfing which is basically with the help of wind we are able to surf in the river bodies and this wind helps us to move and at the same time change our directions as well okay moving ahead to the third one so this is known as your skin which is basically riding on the snow with the help of some skate like structures okay moving ahead to number four this is your javelin throw in which a very long piece of rod is there and it has a pointed end in the front so that when it lands it immediately pierces into the ground so that people can measure that how long the javelin has traveled okay moving ahead to number five here this is known as your equestrian where the horse riders have to jump over some high jumps that is they have to pass over it 
very carefully so that the legs of the horses they do not touch the bars or the woods which are being placed there okay it is a kind of high jump but this is much more precautious dangerous because here the horse rider has to control the horse and has to initiate the jump process as well moving ahead to number 6 here we have the fencing which is also a kind of sports number 7 we have the ice hockey where which is generally played in colder regions in which the hockey is played on the ice and since you can understand this ice is very very slippery in nature so it is very difficult to play but this is a kind of sports as well moving ahead with number 8 so here we have this is known as your malla khamb where a pole is there and different kinds of arrangements are made by a group of people to perform different kinds of arts here the last but not the least we have here the gymnastic which is also requires a very flexible body so that we can perform these moves in a very short span of time okay moving ahead with the fact file what you can see here is we may have heard of the field hockey and ice hockey but have you ever heard of underwater hockey as well okay so underwater swimming what we have heard till now but there is underwater hockey as well it is a form of hockey in which two teams of six players each compete to drive a puck into the opponent's goal at the bottom of a swimming pool world championships are held at every two years all right so moving ahead to the next page number that is our page number 17 this is also a sporty mix only okay so let us have a quick look over them as well okay the very first one that is who amongst these has won the highest number of gold medals at a single olympic games in the history of olympics okay the options being your michael phelps usain bolt and don fraser so here our correct option is your michael phelps who has won the highest number of gold medals number 2 we have who among these was the first to win five straight wimbledon tennis titles okay so here we have bjorn borg generally we are very much quite familiar with these two names that is your roger federer and your rafael nadal but he was the person who won five straight wimbledon tennis titles continuously okay next who was the first indian athlete to win a medal at the world athletics tournament so here we have the correct answer is your anju bobby george okay next we have in 2000 in which olympic events were women allowed to compete for the first time so here the event was pole vault okay next we have who was the first indian badminton player to win the all in england open badminton championships so he was prakash padukon okay next who is the only indian tennis player to win wimbledon titles in three different decades so here we have first one that is sorry sixth one so here we have the very first one that is leandro pace who became the 2016 formula 1 championship so here he was no other than but nico rosberg okay so if we move ahead again to the fact file 
So Karnam Maleswari is India's first woman to win an Olympic medal. She made her place in Indian sports history by winning a bronze medal for weightlifting at 2000 Olympic Games held in Sydney. Okay. If we move ahead to our next page number, that is page number 24. So it runs in the family. Okay. It runs in the family means what? That is basically what you can see is here are the group of people who are not only stars, players or other peoples, but they have more than one members present in their family who is going to continue the trend or is famous for more than one time. Let me have a look over the time schedule and thereafter we will be going ahead with this. Okay. So I hope this is the last page number which we will be going to do. Okay. If you can see here, this is <coughs> Kajol and she is also might be her mother okay who is also very famous in the film industry number four if you can see the very first person is your milka singh who was a very famous runner okay athlete basically and he is what jeev milka singh who is the son of milka singh and he is very famous for playing the golf okay so now in this way these are some of the very famous personalities including we have Marie Curie and Irene Joliot Curie from a famous parent-child duo in the field of science moving ahead to page number 18 what we can see here is this is our brain wheels so here, this is, we have to read these words inside each of the wheels. One word in each circle is linked to the word in the center in some way. Find out the link and write it down in the words here. Okay. Here, the center word is crawl and the words rhyming with crawl can be your butterball or overhaul these two can be there next one we have educate so educate means the synonyms or the meaning either it can be your teach or to enlighten the third one is your migrate migrate means to move okay basically so either Antonyms. Antonyms means just opposite. Synonyms means having the same meaning. So antonyms migrate can be your remain that is here or stay. Okay. The next one number four we have little. So here in this case the comparative and superlative degrees of little can be your less as well as your least now anagrams of allergy can be your both gallery and largely they are formed by rearranging the letters of allergy only okay so this was all for today in the next class we will be going ahead with some more topics i hope we have completed our periodic test portions in the next we will be moving ahead with the half yearly portions and at the same time today i will be providing you with the ut2 syllabus which we will be discussing and you will be preparing for your ut test exams okay or your test so that's all for today Thanks a lot for being with me. Till the next class, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.